William Funnell, three times Hickster Derby winner and part of the European Championship team in 2005, all on the terrific Mondrian. But he's produced some fantastic horses from Comex through to Billy Burr and many others that have gone on, including the horse at the very top of his string now, Billy Congo, that were part of the team that won the Nations Cup at Hickston. A whole host of national titles have put this man to the top of the table. Not just international show jumper, but producer and breeder of horses at the Billy Stud. Basically, it started probably 15, 16 years ago as a partnership between Donald Barnwell and myself that we sort of started with one mare and now we've got 70, we've got 70 foals this year. We had one foal 15 years ago and really there's been a big, you know, it's happened quickly to being a big, big operation and really, yes, we both complement each other in the fact that Donald really handles them until they come to me as three, three and a half year olds to be broken then. And, uh, and that's what we're busy doing at the moment, really sifting through to see hopefully what are going to be show jumping stars and what are going to be eventing stars and what are going to be just nice horses. Loose schooling can be part of the very start of the education of horses going into the world of show jumping. Being schooled initially in an indoor school in a safe environment and a chance to see the horse's natural talent. He's actually out of a mare that we've got one called Billy Larden, a cruising mare. So he's out of a cruising mare. So this is the second time he's been loose schooled. Stay, just stay in that corner, friend. And then you push him from there, round up to Strathco. Good. Very good. So it's amazing when you think this horse had never jumped before. This is the second time he's ever left the floor. That already he does it in the right technique. I think we could probably go a little bit bigger once. He will canter. Hey. Hey. Good. So basically, there's a raw material. If we do a good job from now and teach him the basics and that he understands what we expect of him, there's no reason why he can't be a good horse for me or for, for whatever level his talent can take him to. If we produce him correctly, he's going to do a really nice job for somebody. Then we introduce the rider. We ride him in the stable to start with get up and down so they get used to it and then you'll sort of be a month teaching them the aids that they go off the leg to be behind, behind the hand and the leg that's where all the flat work transitions then basically once they're broken and we've we've assessed them decide whether we aim them for the young horse championships or adding to them one of the most recent stars to come out of the young horse championships is billy angelo fourth in the world cup qualifier in the first of the series in oslo and also Billy Congo's gone through that system before now. And the next superstar, Billy Mexico. Everything that that young horse learns, we in, install into it. It says, right, what do you want me to do? And that's actually what most riders are, are bad at, giving those clear messages for the basic things. Make sure that she's carrying you. Even repeat, even repeat your, your initial transition back to trot. She showed a bit of resistance off the leg, didn't she, the first time? Step her off again so she does it correctly. One more. Just repeat that once more. She's a four-year-old, probably almost ready to go to a show and get out and, and sort of see the big wide world out there. But, um, you know, she'll be... You know, we've got a, a set of fences here, a set of fences um, at the other yard, so they can go on the lorry from here, go to the other yard. It's almost a show environment. We can put a new course out each week and do that for a few weeks and build her up and then say she's ready to go to a show. So by the time they go to a show, they're already really well prepared that they can step up through the heights quite quickly. You know, one British novice and they're probably all ready to, to do, a, you know, by the third show to pop around the newcomers for, with, with most of them. So a lot of it is a lots and lots of training at home. And then you're there to make sure things don't go wrong. So the last time was better because you kept a little bit more en energy in the trot. Spence had to move a little bit then, but he wasn't bad. 
She's on the wrong lead again. She's going to have to do a quick transition. That was nice. Good. The straightness is something that's so important for horse and rider. You know, horses are actually naturally stiff for left or right. We're naturally left or right handed. So that becomes, you know, something we've got to work on. You know, if we get tight with the right hand, we wonder why horses get stiff to the right and they're the same. So we've got to try and work on straightness. It's very important that the horse pushes off both back legs. So if he doesn't canter in a straight line, how can he canter straight down to a fence and, and jump straight? You know, so something as simple as that is really quite technical. Right, just give her a breather, just give her a pat. She did a nice job then. Just give her a little breather and then keep that all the way through the turn. Come on. Good, a lot better. You can see the mare jumped nice and straight which is very important. And she did the simple things well. So that's a good start for a four-year-old. I'd be pleased with her progression and I wouldn't actually ask any more of her for a minute. While getting great enjoyment from international wins, Will Funnel, as you can see, gets great enjoyment from producing young horses alongside all his team. So a correctly trained horse is always gonna have a value to somebody, whatever le level of talent it has. So if I can come out with a correctly trained horse that's gonna do, can jump, from Grand Prix to 120, somebody is going to have a lot of fun with that horse and they're actually going to learn to ride themselves from that horse because it's, the, the buttons are all in the right order. <laughs> <laughs>